Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Well, temperatures today were not really able to warm up a whole lot. We've kept the clouds around for the most part after an active morning with showers and thunderstorms and a more heavy rain, something that we seem to can't shake here uh, in recent days. And unfortunately, the pattern is not going to change significantly through the rest of this week, even perhaps into the start of the weekend. So we're just going to have to continue to prepare and deal with uh, the potential for more heavy rain as uh, we have a couple more systems to slide through over the next, say, five days or so. Well, this afternoon and this evening, temperatures hovering right around 70. They have inched up a little bit this afternoon, but again, clouds really limiting how much we can warm up. And we're going to keep that chance of well, another shower or thunderstorm in the forecast this evening. I do believe with all the uh, extensive cloud cover, uh, the chances of an additional severe threat are probably quite low for this evening. Nonetheless, a few stronger storms will be possible with the main risk being heavy rain, but we're seeing some redevelopment here in southeastern Minnesota, and these will take uh, a track up to the east and northeast. So if you do have any plans to be outside for this evening, just be aware that the ongoing chances of showers and storms will continue. Now, since midnight, we've seen quite a bit of rain again uh, from central and northern parts of our area in particular with local amounts up over an inch, especially where you're seeing some of these yellows showing up on the color coding. Otherwise, area airports uh, throughout western Wisconsin vary in their amounts. Uh, as far as weather watchers go, still getting some New reports in from this morning, but overall not too bad, just less than an inch in, or half inch rather, in Nelson here at the station, about a third of an inch, Funk and Granton about two tenths of an inch. And we know we want uh, the uh, water faucets to turn off here because it has just been so wet this month and we could use a break. But again, we are keeping an eye, close eye, on the potential for some flooding with all of the rain. We've already seen the elevated area waterways from last week and the week before, and they're only continuing to have a growing concern here. With this flood watch through Wednesday morning from Eau Claire to the north and west. Now, it has been warmer this afternoon where we've seen a little bit more sunshine break out between about 75 and 80 down closer to the cooler region. Meanwhile, here in the Chippewa Valley, we have pretty much stayed in the 60s. A live look at our Hastings Way Nicolay Bank Skycam showing the gray skies. Again, not really getting much chance to clear up. 69 now, winds pretty light, and our dew point is down to 64. But that is going to be coming up again as we have another surge coming up from the south with a warm front. There is more comfortable air to the northwest, not too far away, but it's going to take its time coming our way. And with this southwesterly flow, pumping up more warmth and humidity. Really going to feel that for tomorrow, and that will help fuel the potential for heavy rain. Here's another batch coming through southern Minnesota this evening, and we'll have that chance up through about midnight. Then we get into partial clearing going into tomorrow morning. We'll start off dry, but by later in the afternoon, we will have the chance for additional showers and thunderstorms, and that could produce some heavier downpours. It's likely to be the warmest day we see this week. Uh, it looks like we get a break on Wednesday, just a slight chance of a shower. I think it's mostly dry. And then a few more systems come back into play by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That flooding threat is going mm -hmm. to continue. We could see a couple more inches of rain. So that's going to be front and center right. for us. But it's always tough with storms because uh, some places may not see them. And right. Those they amounts could vary greatly. Depends on where they yeah, set up. Set up, and, exactly. And, all right. Well, thanks a lot, Darren. Yeah. Well, entertainment news is up.